Hey there, YouTube. Welcome to the channel. My name is Alex Hubbard. I'm a senior systems administrator with over 15 years of experience in the IT industry. Welcome to 5 Minute Fridays, where we pick a topic and we discuss it for roughly five minutes. Today's topic, five things you should be doing quarterly as a systems administrator. The first topic, and we covered this very briefly last week in last week's 5 Minute Friday, is testing a backup. This is the most important topic of today's 5 Minute Friday, and that's why I'm covering it first. Test your backups. Just when you think they're good, test them again. This goes beyond last week's fr uh, 5 Minute Friday topic of checking your backup and just logging into your appliance and making sure everything's good. Um, restore a single file or folder, you know, make sure uh, the restore goes okay. Make sure you can open that file and or folder. Uh, you know, you can restore it to a test chair somewhere on your network. Um, don't just assume your backup's going to work because your email alert said, hey, the job's complete and you're good to go. Don't assume it's going to work. You need to test it and verify it. You should also try and restore a virtual machine if that's what you're using. Uh, try and restore a VM. Make sure it boots. Again, don't don't just assume it's going to work because you got the pretty little screenshot in your email saying, hey, we're all good here, because uh, I've seen numerous times over the years that that doesn't, that doesn't always work. So test it. If you, have a te you know, if you have a test environment, restore it to your test environment. Make sure it boots. Make sure you, you can get in and things look good. Um, again, just you know, some, some appliances and backup systems will send you an email with a screenshot showing it at the login screen. That's all great, but make sure you can actually log into it. Second point, or point number two for today's 5-Minute Friday, and that's review system access. Uh, have you had any employees that have been terminated lately? Um, did you or your help desk, I guess it depends upon what size of a shop you are, if you're a one- or two-man show, um, did they deprovision the accounts appropriately? Did they deactivate the account in Active Directory? Did they look at any of uh, the other systems that the user may have had access to? Um, just take a spot check or do an inventory of any accounts that have be been deactivated or deprovisioned in the last quarter and make sure they were done appropriately. I've walked in time and time again to various different environments where things haven't been disabled or you know somebody forgot or HR never told IT that somebody was leaving. So do a quarterly review, make sure any inactive accounts have been deactivated and deprovisioned appropriately. Um, next, next part of this review system access would be, have you given any vendors or third party uh, parties access to your system? So have you had your firewall vendor log in and do something? Uh, have you had a SQL uh, consultant log in and check your SQL database? You know, do they still need access? Do they have the appropriate access? Um, so those are things you should check quarterly. Uh, also, if you're running an Active Directory shop, um, which I'm assuming most people uh, or most companies are um, in this video or for this particular topic, um, you know, check your domain admin groups, check your enterprise admin groups, make sure nobody's inadvertently been added to those groups, whether uh, on purpose or not. Just you know, go over them. Review any visitor logs you have. Review your card access logs. Uh, you know, make sure. Uh, Johnny from sales isn't trying to get into your server room at five o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I mean, you should get alerts for those sort of things, but just go over access in general. Make sure nothing sticks out. Uh, third point for Five Minute Friday this week is review your licensing, uh, especially with cloud-based software as a service platforms. Uh, it's very easy to get a uh, bill at the end of the month or quarter, however your application is billed. Uh, that is high um, if you don't pay attention to your license counts. So if you have, if you go on a hiring spree or you have a high turnover and people leave, um, again, this kind of goes with uh, reviewing your access. Make sure those licenses have been deprovisioned because if you have, you know, ten people leave and you have ten extra licenses for say Office 365, well, you know, and you're not replacing those people right away, turn them off. So. Make sure you uh, keep a check on unneeded licenses. Fourth point for the day for this five minute Friday, log into devices you may not hit on a normal basis. So firewalls, routers, switches, uh, that sort of thing. Uh, take a look around, make sure there's no hardware alarms, uh, no firmware updates, no, no 
abnormalities of any kind, if there are firmware updates pending, uh, make sure you schedule some time to a review your um, release notes and then schedule time to run the updates. Um, you should be from a from an error log standpoint, you should have some kind of monitoring setup. But in case you're a smaller shop and you don't, make sure you put eyes on your devices. Uh, also, especially if you have remote sites that you know you may not hit the hardware very often. Um, Check it out, make sure things look good there. Final point for Five Minute Friday, check your failover devices. This one actually probably should have been point number two because this is pretty important as well. Uh, if you have multiple ISPs or internet service providers, check and make sure they're failing over your equipment is working properly because uh, the last thing you want is to lose an internet connection and to have a backup internet connection that you're paying for and it's not working. So check it, um, probably have to do this outside of business hours, come in early, stay late, check it, make sure it's working. If you have high availability firewalls, see if they fail over, see if they work. If you're running any type of hypervisor, VMware, Hyper-V, any kind of cluster like that that has a high availability function to it, uh, you know, move a virtual machine, test your failover, make sure it works. Uh, you don't want to find out when something goes down that your high availability didn't work. So those are five topics for Five Minute Friday this week of things you should be doing quarterly as a systems administrator. I hope you enjoyed these videos. If you have a suggestion for Five Minute Friday, please leave a comment below and uh, you know, see if we can, we can talk about it on Five Minute Fridays. Uh, if you like these videos, thumbs up, thumbs down. Please uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, turn on your bell notification so you get the latest updates when I post the latest videos. And thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more IT-related videos.